Hi Warriors, Coach Francis here. If you've never taken yoga, then some of the postures might seem a little intimidating, right? So today I'm gonna show you a few of the most common leg postures that you will encounter in a lot of our flows here on Tonal Yoga. Starting with your crescent. In your crescent lunge, you wanna step one leg forward then stretch the back leg towards the very back of your mat. You're gonna notice that the left toes are straight towards the front of the mat, the right heel is off of the ground, and that's really a very important part of this posture because it's gonna differentiate it from the warrior one and the warrior two. So while you're in this crescent, you feel the hips squaring off to the front of your space, and then you extend the arms up towards the sky. We want to do our best in this posture to lift the belly in and then lengthen the tailbone down so that it removes some of that arch in the low back, which a lot of us, including myself, like to do. So as soon as that arch starts to happen, notice if you need to re-engage the core and then lengthen the tailbone a little bit more, which might mean you bending the back leg slightly. And then as you start to progress, you can straighten the back leg a bit more Continue to bend the left knee over the toes, really feeling the stretch in both of the legs, really. And it's a power pose, so you're gonna feel the left glute as well. From this crescent lunge, put the hands on your hips, straighten both of the legs, give your legs a little bit of a shake. And now I'm gonna show you warrior one, which is similar to crescent, but slightly different. Similar in the sense that you will still be neutral towards the front of your space, Looking at your front toes, they're straight forward. Take the right leg back or whatever leg is behind you. And instead of keeping the right heel off of the ground, you're going to flatten the heel at an angle. So the heel is flat on the ground. The legs though are still wide. I always like to say it's like you're standing on railroad tracks. So in this case, my left leg is on the left side of that railroad track. My right foot is on the right side of that railroad track. You hug the right hip forward. You press down heavy through the heels. And once you feel ready, stretch the arms overhead. Same concept here. The core is always working in yoga. You are constantly lifting up. With each breath in, you get taller, you create space, you find that strength. And the legs are keeping you anchored here. So the heels press down, you can flutter the toes on the mat, and you get as tall as you can with each breath in. Hold your warrior one for another breath in. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the hips, get off of that front leg, shake the legs out for a little bit. I'm gonna show you one more thing today. Coming into a warrior two, which is a bit different when it comes to your feet alignment. So watch your front toes, make sure they're straight forward. Take a giant step to the back of your mat, but this time, instead of being facing, or instead of staying neutral towards the front of the space, you wanna open up towards the side. Instead of having your feet on those railroad tracks, you align the front heel with your back arch, creating as much of a straight line as possible. So it's a lot of things, right? The left toes are forward, the knee goes over the toes, your body turns to the side of your space, you extend the arms right out of your shoulders, press the shoulders down. Now once you get nice and steady in that warrior two stance, pivot the head to look over your front fingertips. So you're gazing towards your middle finger, your index finger, and just keeping a soft gaze. With each exhale, the front knee bends a bit more, and the back heel presses down into your mat. So it's a very strong pose, like you are spreading the mat apart between the heels of your feet. Take another deep breath in, exhale it out. Bring the hands to your hips to come out of the posture. Come all the way out. Give your legs a little bit of a shake right here. And now I'm gonna take you through all three postures so you can kinda 
flow through them and experience the changes of each one. Starting back to your crescent, step one foot forward, then the other leg back, left toes are forward. Take a deep breath in here, exhale it out. From this crescent, just pivot the back heel flat. The rest of the body pretty much stays the same. You might just need to adjust slightly. The right hip moves a bit more forward. Left hip moves back in space into your warrior one. So warriors, you just went from your crescent to a warrior one. Both of these stances, you're on those railroad tracks. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, join me in a warrior two. Heel toe, that front foot, move the back foot to make sure that front heel is in line with the back arch. Rebend the front leg, look over your left fingertips. Press the right heel back onto the ground. Take another big breath in, maybe find a deeper stretch. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the hips, stretch out the front leg, shake the hips out, shake the legs out. Should feel nice to come out of that for a bit. And that's an example of how to do some of the most popular leg postures in yoga. I hope this helps you out throughout your journey as you continue to step onto your mat week after week. I'm Coach Francis, and I will see you soon here on Tono Yoga.